know there's been some debate and some criticism on whether or not the David Dobrik $100,000 puzzle is gambling. What I know for certain is that I am definitely taking a gamble on whether or not my patience will run out before I finish this QR code puzzle. That's it, that's my intro. Hi, I'm Amanda, you're watching Small Entertainment and I finally, finally got my hands on my David Dobrik $100,000 puzzle. I genuinely gave up hope that I was ever gonna see this because David stopped talking about the puzzle in his uh, podcast and also all of the influencers and stuff who ordered the puzzle, okay? What I assume happened is that they were given the opportunity to get one for PR and they also were given the opportunity to order more if they wanted because some people got like four or five and other people got one. So I think they were just given the opportunity to order more. Um, they all got theirs weeks ago and all of them had completed theirs, but no one as far as I can see has completed and gotten $100,000, so there's still a chance. This is not gonna be done in one night, I know for a fact. 500 pieces. This is gonna take me so goddamn long. The way I figured I'm gonna do this video is I'm just going to talk about uh, the breakdown of the puzzle itself, like the controversies with the puzzle, is it a lottery, is it a sweepstakes, what's the deal? and talk about some of the criticisms of the puzzle over footage of me assembling the puzzle because if I do it all separately, it's gonna be a very long, very boring video. So while I get this bad boy open, let me clarify, because I did get some confused DMs. Um, I did pay for this myself. Um, the puzzle itself was $30 and then plus shipping. I paid all that myself. I am not important enough for David Dobrik himself to have sent me a puzzle or for any of his lackeys to send me one. So I did in fact pay for this myself, which is why I had to wait with everyone else apparently to get their puzzles. Everyone is a winner. The $100,000 puzzle by David Dobrik. No, seriously, you can't lose. Here is my puzzle. There is no photo. That's how it works. There's no QR code because they don't want you cheating. This QR code on the back is not uh, the actual QR code. This QR code isn't real. Taking a picture of this won't win you anything. And assemble the QR code puzzle. Sorry there isn't a visual reference of what you're building. You have to earn it. My $30 wasn't enough for you. Once assembled, scan your puzzle with your mobile device's camera. You'll then be directed to 100kpuzzle.com. Enter the unique verification code at the bottom of this instruction sheet. Follow the online instructions to receive your reward. I'm gonna make sure I don't lose this. This seems to be like it's in some pretty rough shape, actually. Maybe it's because it's mass produced. Can I? Will this show on camera? It's just like, maybe it's just because of the way it's packaged. Hang on, let's see. Do you see all the dusty shit? That's all from the puzzle itself, I think. It's sealed, so there's that. Hopefully that doesn't mean that there's like any issues with the puzzle. What if a piece is missing? That would be my luck. Like I get to the end and then the QR code doesn't read because it's missing something. If that does happen, can I sue David Dobrik? Yes, I would be crucified by his fans online, but I also think that I would be able to benefit way more from a lawsuit than he would benefit. I will be constructing my puzzle on my cork board. That way, if I need to take a break, I can move this around without disturbing the puzzle because there's no way I'm gonna be able to finish this tonight. It's not about not believing in myself, it's being realistic. So I'm gonna turn off this camera and I'm gonna set up my other camera and just start assembling. <laughs> this is gonna suck, isn't it? Great. So right off the bat, let's talk about the legality of this puzzle. Uh, though here, what I'm doing is I'm trying to separate the edges because that's always where I start. If I do do puzzles, I start with the edges. So I'm trying to find the edge pieces and then kind of pushing everything over and flipping everything over. I suggest binge watching a show while doing this. But people have been talking about the legality of the puzzle. Short answer, yes. The puzzle is completely legal. This is considered a sweepstakes. Obviously like any giveaway, they have a rules section. Let's dive into them. So there's two ways to win anything from the David Dobrik puzzle giveaway. Just like a giveaway, like let's say Sephora, you can use points to enter or buy stuff to enter. Or there is a no purchase option where you can essentially mail in a postcard. So the 100K puzzle giveaway has the entry via puzzle where you obviously buy the $30 plus shipping puzzle or the alternate entry by mail. The thing about entry by mail is that you won't get shipped a puzzle. You will be sent a QR code and the 
code that came inside the box, like what I got on the slip of paper. Let's talk about the codes because this is actually how they're measuring the amount of puzzles or possible winnings in play. Uh, there is 100,151 codes available. So technically there is 100,151 puzzles available. I'm currently operating under the assumption that everyone who is partaking in the 100,000 uh, giveaway is in fact doing so with a puzzle because that's part of my problem with all of this is that the alternate entry option was really not promoted by David Dobrik's team or David Dobrik himself whatsoever. People found it in like defense of David, like, see, there's another option, but it was never really promoted by his team. So let's talk about the promotion of this real quick because this was originally announced on David Dobrik's Instagram stories. As far as I can see, he never tweeted about it. David is still technically on a hiatus from YouTube, so his promotion of anything really comes from his podcast with Jason Nash, The Views Podcast, or on his Instagram. The most common comments I see is you guys asking me for money. So I finally figured out a way to get all of you guys money. I sound like a scam, but this is a scam. Listen, I made this puzzle. It's called the $100,000 Puzzle by David Dobrik. That's me. Click your camera on your phone just like that, and then you scan it because it's a QR code, and look, now it'll load your prize, and you're going to 100% win, anywhere from 25 cents to $100,000. Obviously, he includes a swipe up. He makes it very clear that you are buying a puzzle, and when you get the puzzle, you can win. But now the question is, how is this not gambling? You're spending $30 for the chance to win 100,000. The way they're getting around this being gambling is that they're having the option available that you can in fact write in to you know, get a QR code and get your uh, winning code. And the way they're also getting around with the gambling is that everyone wins. You know, you are maybe gonna win 100 grand, but you're definitely gonna win 25 cents. Another criticism was that there was no age requirement for this uh, 100K giveaway. However, that is not true. You can be three years and older to do the puzzle, uh, but if you wanna collect any winnings, you have to be 18 or older or have your parents do it. Before anyone gets mad at me, hey, why are you saying this isn't gambling? I'm just breaking down the facts of the situation. I don't like how this was handled personally. I think this was shifty as hell. I think they should have been way more transparent about the option to mail in. I don't think they promoted that nearly enough. I have a few other things I wanna say in conclusion, but obviously I'm gonna say that to the end. First, let me tell you about my actual experience of building this goddamn horrible Satan's puzzle. A five? It's a five? No, it's not. This puzzle sucks, okay? It does. And maybe it's my eyesight. Maybe it's my, maybe I can chalk this up to my dyslexia, mixing up left and right and colors and shit. I don't freaking know, okay? I hate it. I hate this puzzle. It sucked. This time lapse that you're seeing is maybe less than an hour. I spent easily 12 hours on this because after I did this part, the next day I spent the whole day doing this puzzle and I got very little progress, very little progress. I'll insert photos here. This is as far as I got, okay? And then I started checking social media because I was like, you know what, just in case, let's see if someone else won the 100,000 because I was still holding out hope, you know? I like gambling. I was holding out hope <laughs> and I realized fairly quickly that all of the puzzles that people were posting were the exact same fucking QR code. And I had had a hunch that it was all gonna be the same QR code because why else would they add in the code slip? Like you had to input a code after you scanned the QR code. If they were all different QR codes, what would be the point of that? So I assumed that it were going to be the same puzzle. And since there was no a uh, picture on the box for the QR code. Someone tweeted out a finished photo. I was like, I'm gonna use this as my photo. I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna build my puzzle off of this and this is gonna help. It didn't last very long, but I tried. No makeup puzzle Amanda here because I've been working on this puzzle for easily several hours now. This is all I've done today is do this, watch Bones and eat, okay? And I'm cheating now. I'm cheating, I've decided because I've made Minimal progress. Fairly certain the puzzle is the same for everyone. So I found photos of the puzzle online and now I'm cheating. I don't feel bad about it. Listen, this series is called I Tried It So You Don't Have To. And I did try, okay? I tried. I, ju I just couldn't. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because I'm by myself and a lot of people have been doing it in groups. I don't know if because I'm just not familiar with puzzles. I, I don't know if I can blame this on my dyslexia. Who fucking knows, okay? I just know that David Dobrik is now enemy number one. <laughs> because I hated this goddamn puzzle. Listen, sometimes I think one of the best things you can do for yourself is learn to admit when it's time to move on and quit. And after something like 12 hours of trying to get this puzzle to make a general uh, attempt at a QR code, I'm done. Basically the way the David Dobrik $100,000 puzzle works is that all the QR codes are the fucking same. So what I'm going to do is pull up the photo of someone else's puzzle that they posted on Twitter and hold it on my 
uh, iPad, and then I'm gonna scan it with my phone camera and see if that takes me to the website. And then I'm gonna put in my code and we're gonna see what we want. Okay, here's the QR code puzzle. Let's see if I can, oh. <laughs> yep, it worked, okay. Almost there, enter your verification code to see what you want, okay. All right, loading prize. <sighs> Twenty-five cents. I don't like that the only way to get paid. I'm I'm getting paid. I'm getting the twenty-five cents. So as I fill this out, let's talk about this real quick. I don't like that the payment method it only gives you the option to link your bank. Okay, it's using Plaid. That's fine or Plaid, however you pronounce it. Uh, I've used that before with linking my bank, so I'm not too concerned. Obviously, I'm not going to show you which bank I bank with, but yeah, I think a PayPal option should be available, but PayPal does take a fee, so I don't know how else they would do it. Maybe a gift card. But 25 cent gift cards, I don't know how you would do that. Please allow two to five business days for your payout. So by the time this video comes out, I will know hopefully by then if this is real and I actually got a payout or not. In the Instagram promotion that he did, he called it, I wanna give money away. And this is the way for me to give money away to all of you guys. You guys asking me for money. So I finally figured out a way to get all of you guys money. Paying $30 to get 25 cents back isn't really, uh, you giving away money, David, it's just not. The total amount of payouts that the company ends up doing is gonna be something like $250,000. A quarter of a million dollars is a ton of money. He did a tweet saying that they had already sold like 15,000 puzzles or something like that. So correction, because I'm also more sus now, because I remember David tweeting this. However, when I went to go check to see if David had ever promoted the puzzles on his Twitter, I couldn't find this tweet. But I did a little digging, I saw that it was referenced in an article in TubeFilter. The tweet was, we just sold 17,000 puzzles in the first hour. Ha ha ha, what? However, I'm assuming people did the math and got upset, because now the tweet's unavailable. David made way more money doing this puzzle giveaway than he is spending. I was listening to David Dobrik's podcast, The Views Podcast, kind of trying to get updates about the puzzle and hear more about the process. And uh, he just kind of stopped talking about it at a certain point. They just stopped talking about it, stopped talking about the uh, winning, stopped talking about the promotion. And so I was like, did someone win and they don't want to announce that someone win prior to all of the ordered boxes getting shipped out? Because like I said, all the PR puzzles got delivered a while ago. From that, the only totals I saw was like $10. So I'm wondering if there's going to be a $100,000 puzzle just sitting in someone's house because they're gonna give up. Because this puzzle sucks, dude. This puzzle is so annoying. We learned that puzzles are not my offline hobby. Like I said, I ordered this in December. Um, I found this apartment, applied for this apartment, got approved for this apartment and moved and have been here for three weeks. That's how long it took for me to get this puzzle. Let me break down the shipping timeline. I knew it was gonna be shipped out around January 25th, or at least they promoted that, but then I thought it was weird because they sent us an email letting us know that there was another delay and that they would be sent out at the end of the month. And then I was sent a shipping notification, but it never actually, it was just like the shipping label was made. It wasn't sent out right away. And I ended up getting delivered uh, February 9th. But I reached out to them to be like, hey, can I update my address? I know it hasn't been shipped out yet. Uh, I moved and I would really like the puzzle to come to me. And I got an automated message like, here are free frequently asked questions, your puzzle will be shipped out at this time. And it's like, okay, that's not what I'm, I'm not asking about when it's gonna be shipped out. I'm just trying to get my address updated so that it'll, it'll come here. Puzzle just got delivered to my dad's house, which wasn't a big deal. I do live in LA, he's in Orange County. It's not, it's like an hour drive, I'm fine. I'm just used to YouTuber products now with delayed shipping times. This time last year, I had a lot of issues getting like the Killer Keem Cosmetics and uh, Chamberlain Coffee. Complete the puzzle to reveal a QR code and scan the code for a chance to win a prize. No purchase necessary for a chance to win. And that's also on the website. However, correct me if I'm wrong, David never once publicly in a video on his Instagram stories or on his podcast said that you didn't have to buy a puzzle to win. There are ways to get in for the giveaways without purchasing anything. I don't think David ever made that clear on his social media in a way that some of his younger audience members, or hell, people my age would understand, okay? Because that is just shitty. So personally, I think whether this legally covers his ass or not isn't the point. I think you do have an obligation when you are a creator. He should have been promoting the option that you can write in and not have to buy a puzzle in order to get the puzzle and enter to win the sweepstakes. I think he should have done a better job promoting that option. It is February 12th at the time of recording this. Um, I have not seen that anyone has won the $100,000. Honestly, I think we'll know because either they're gonna tweet about it or 
David's gonna put out a video with the winner, especially with the update with the email of like, oh, it's gonna be shipped out soon. There was like a little note from David, like make sure you film it because like we wanna see that. So if anyone does win, I think we'll definitely hear about it. And if we hear nothing, either someone didn't complete the puzzle, gave up or it's never got shipped out or some bullshit like that. Who knows? Here are the breakdowns. 95.5K puzzles will reward their players with 25 cents. One of 95.5K. 1500 will pay out 50 cents. 1500 will pay out a dollar. 1000 will pay out $10. 450 will pay out $50. 50 will pay out $100. 50 will pay out 250. 50 will pay out 500. 50 will pay out 1000. And one will pay $100,000. The total prize pool is $251,125. Players must complete and scan the puzzles by March 31st, 2021 to claim their prizes. So we may not know for a little bit. Even this website believed, for those wondering, there's no reference image to those for completion since each individual puzzle will end up with a different QR code. Put her together or is her on their own. No, you're not. It's all the same fucking QR code. Here's the tweet with the QR code image that I used. If you guys want to cheat, because who cares? The reality of the situation, not bad or good, just the reality of the situation is that David made a shit ton of fucking money on this, which from a business perspective is good business. However, uh, when you're phrasing it as like, I'm giving money away, and then it's like a sweepstakes, and then it's like all this stuff, I don't know. Just, I don't know. Be more upfront about the details of your giveaways next time, David, if you do another sweepstakes like this. I will say I am always suspicious of ventures that creators get into when the creators suddenly stop promoting it whatsoever. David has not mentioned the puzzle, as far as I can see, in a little bit. But again, David does seem like, okay, next, uh, which is kind of like a YouTuber perspective. Um, I, I have that same mentality when it comes to a lot of my videos. So for someone like David, who this is, for the most part, his whole life, YouTube and the ventures that come with it, I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case, is it's just like the YouTuber mentality of like, okay, we're done with this thing, now we're on to the next thing. Cause like you just kind of gotta always keep moving, kind of always keep putting out content. And since he's not doing videos for the most part right now, it's just his podcast and things like this, it would make sense if he's still in that mindset. Doesn't make it okay. Sexy freeze frame to clarify. It's fine to always be in the mindset of what can I do next? However, when there is money involved, you have to complete the sale. As much as you may want to go on to the next thing, you have to complete it. And we don't know if this is completed yet. I'm gonna put out this video even before I know if anyone's won anything uh, larger than 25 cents. There's only been two videos where I've seen people win more than 25 cents and both of them won $10. And I believe one of them was Jason. Yeah. Jay, what did I win? You won. The other person I believe was also a creator who got sent an early puzzle as well. So let's hope it's not a Michael Scott golden ticket type of situation where all of the big money puzzles were on a certain palette and all those ones got sent out in early release. I placed a bunch of golden tickets into five separate boxes and somehow they all ended up at Blue Cross. How does this happen? What are boxes near each other? Irrelevant. That would be suspicious as hell. <laughs> of the people who actually ordered and were shipped the puzzle like myself, I've only seen 25 cent winners. So we shall see if anyone wins anything larger than 25 cents. And if anyone wins the $100,000, we shall see. But that's gonna be it for this video. Did you get the puzzle? Did you build the puzzle? Did you give up like I did and try to find a photo and just scan the photo? Are you a fan of David Dobrik? Uh, do you think this is a lottery or sweepstakes? Do you think we really shouldn't care? Do you think this is like a big deal and we shouldn't set this precedent for other content creators? Let me know, comment down below. Shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting me on Patreon. If you'd also like to support me on Patreon, that'll be listed down below. If you'd like to follow me on my social media, that'll be all up here. And that's gonna be it. Have a lovely day, goodbye. None of you better get mad at me for completing the goddamn puzzle, okay? I live alone in a studio apartment in a pandemic and I do most of my work online. I barely leave this apartment. I need to be careful, okay? My sanity is hanging on by a thread. Thank you, Elaine, Ali, Alan, Elise, Alex, Brayden, Cameron, Christopher, Chris, Cody, Colton, Crash, PC, Destiny, Devin, Dirty One, Don, Elliot, Essen, Evan, Beckless, Hopeless, Hollow, Jackery, Jakers, Joe, John, M, Jordan, Joseph, Kenny, Kevin, Kim, Kristen, Lex, Lisa, Louise, Manga, Matt, Matt, O, Matthew, S, Moore, The Red, Michael, Michael, Jane, Nathaniel, Pat, Pilot, Rob, Robbie, Robert, Ross, Sam, Simon, Stephanie, Tasha, Timothy, Tom, Tyrone, Wendy, Williams, Zendry.